Hello and welcome back to another Hot Dogs, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. I'm CZ Diver and today we are going to have some fun with Calwina Calico in North East Dakota, Freehold Limited Ammo. Because North East Dakota is too large and Freehold is the only way you can get around it without dying of exhaustion. Oh, the Schofield Model 3. A nice little revolver, six shooter. Single action, so I have got a story today to tell you from work, and surprisingly, it isn't due to incompetence of management. Ooh, a Bowman Simplex, nice little dinky gun, good emergency round. Yes, I know, not due to the incompetence of management, that's not possible. Well, yeah, it's outside forces. So, Shall we explain? Shall we talk? Shall we get to know what's going on? Because we had actually two events. Oh, I know. Here he goes. So, during first play, we're about halfway through it, and then we notice a um, helicopter. I start hearing a helicopter, and I look up, and we notice... Uh, the colours. It's the... Uh, oh, where are you? down below, uh, ambulance, and it's circling. Now there's two fields nearby. There's the school field, and the cricket field across the road. You took a lot of shots, I think I was hitting you in the chest. So there's two two places where it would probably land nearby. It circles around, and it circles, v it's very low, like, very low. You could, you could easily read the uh, text on the side of it. Let me just be a bit careful with these guys. The one that's going to be up here. Shh, he's not seeing me. What we're going to do is we're going to put that away. And then we're going to come up behind and we're going to... Check on the line! Override token found. <sighs> What is the point of you? You don't do that anything. Do I want another single? Like yes, because it's free. Ooh, what did we get? The Nagant. Oh, great. We got a Nagant. I think I'll fully load you. I don't... I think I'll just load you, but you're entirely for emergency use. Not for actual combat use, because... Why do I want a... Br um, a single loading one when I could have an entire full loading one so you can go there and then we just need bullets so yeah so as it's circling it's very low and then it heads off in a straight direction and we've got the feeling that it's gonna come back in for a landing on the field yeah it does which is just an absolute joy with all the kids and oh look at the time it's time for them to go in like literally it just went so trying to herd them in Whilst the air ambulance is landing. Why is the air ambulance landing in our school? Where? Well, there's not something going on in the school. So we later find out it's on the estate. No. Oh. Let me just not fail at picking stuff up. On the estate behind us. The housing estate behind us. Which is... Okay. We'll just have to deal with that. See, so yeah, I just heard them in whilst that's landing. And... <laughs> Try and get them to calm down. You got ones that are having a time of their life, seeing a helicopter land, and the others panicking because it's too loud, or it brings memories of relatives who've had to go in an air ambulance. Oh, Lord, deal. Ugh. Fun. Interesting. Mixing things up, and hello, we're not shooting you, but fun. So we're inside, we get them all inside, and then a fire, a fire engine comes across the playground. What? What's going on? Why? Huh? The housing estate is like, you got the school, the field, and then the housing estate. So, it wasn't related to that because they would have gone that way around. What are they doing on the field? Turns out, since yesterday morning, a cat had been in the tree on the, fee on the uh, playground. And, well, since yesterday morning, that's a long time to be um, up in a tree. So, the RSPCA and the 
fire brigade came to. Oh! I hit the metal. Why do I always do that? <sighs> Although, thankfully, we both have dinky rounds, so we both do jack to each other. So, yeah. So, you know, you just got to explain that to him as well. <sighs> and then, it's dinner time. It's dinner time. The air ambulance still hasn't taken off. The fire engine's gone. But the air ambulance has taken off. Well, the fire engine leaves just at the start of the dinner. We have to hold them in for a bit until they can go outside, which is fun. You know, because they want to go outside. But hey. So we get to the end of dinner play, and I'm going to hold this story whilst I actually shoot sausage. Uh, I've cocked you good. Dead. I've got one shot left. I'm going to reload. Five shots. So, yeah. Oh. That was disgraceful shooting. So yeah, so we get them out a bit late. Okay. Looks like they're sort of finishing up because they went through um, one of the fences. Uh, wood fence on... to the, the houses that back onto the field have wood fences. Concrete bottoms, slabs at the bottom and then wood on top and then concrete posts. So you can just literally lift them up. Lifted that up and went through. And looking at it... Okay, looks like they're just, they're not actually taking the patient by air ambulance. We don't see a patient come back through, and yeah, they're taking their time. Presume they went by a land ambulance or something. Who knows, maybe it wasn't as severe as what they thought. It all went calm, who knows. Will we ever know? Probably not. So at this point, we're out the The kids that are terrified, are a little terrified, have got a huddle around me, trying to keep keep them from having a mental breakdown and I've got all the others off their heads at the concept of a helicopter taking off and trying to keep them calm <sighs> so I think that's all just as we're about to come in you start to hear the helicopter helicopter blade spin up Ooh, a break action shotgun. Yes, I'll take that. What do we get? Oh, not this one. I'm not a fan of this shotgun. Uh, we have ammo there. Right, let's go get this guy, wherever he is, and then I'll continue the story, the shenanigans, the event, the things that are going on. Oh, hello. Oh! That's not how that was meant to go. I messed up the grab of him because of the uneven terrain. Anywho, so yes. So they come in just as it's taking off. And they won't be quiet. So I give them the ultimatum. Here you go, quiet. Yes, sit down. And get your lunches, because we're eating the class. Gotta love COVID. Gotta love dealing with that. I'll open the blind so you can see outside. Blind shut because we use a smart um, a smart board, touch screen, whatever you want to call it. And you can't see it if the blinds are open. So get them to calm down. Open them up. And after repeatedly... The ones that are getting too excited to calm down. Actually, do I want these? No. I think I want more of these. 
I'm going to put you there. Uh, you can go there. You can go there. Let's load all our guns first before we... Oh. Okay. And I think I want more of them. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be enough. So... Constantly still comforting the ones that are panicking, for whatever reason they have. It's fine, I'll keep them calm. And then we got the other ones. Keep getting so excited. Sit down. Oh. And it finally takes off, and it's just like, ah. And we go calm now, relax. Finish your dinners, because now we're 10 minutes into the eating session, and that leaves us with 20 minutes left for them to eat the lunch. They already push it as it is for that 30 minutes to eat lunch. But hey, we get through it. It's a day. I don't know what else to say. We're done then. Well, you know, the afternoon. Go have my lunch finally, one o'clock. <coughs> Starving. But hey, go on with all that. Go down to year three and have some nice, calm, relaxing PSHE lesson about being calm, respecting others. Just a general PSHE lesson. Which is fun. But hey, so yeah, anyone else have a shocking day today? Not due to the incompetence of management at work and actually outside forces? Eh, let me know. So anywho, back to H3 and other things. Is there anything else of Snickers? I kind of just overwhelmed me this day of that happening, just like... I had a plan of other stuff I was going to talk about this morning before I went to work, like, ah, oh, yeah. And then this happened, and I just went, whoop, all that out my brain. We're talking about this because it's big. Okay. So, let's see, we've got good guns. Still waiting on Anton's next update. I think he took a break this week. Bit of relaxation. Ah, oh, that's the other thing I wanted to talk about. I'll finish this thought, but I've got the other thing. Relaxation. And he's going to be continuing on the limited... Not the limited arrow. The um, tactical ammo holding. And I've got to hit this guy. I got him. Am I got... I think I've set this up right. Yeah, you can see what I'm seeing. Nope, that's empty. Go! Ooh! Oh, there's more. Oh, okay, that just went south. There's one more in here, I think. Or was that upstairs? Right, we're not gonna do that because we've got another break action shotgun here. Just what we want. I want a long range gun. Don't care about a mag sorter. Do I want a bayonet? Don't really have a gun to stick a bayonet on. Go on, we'll take that. That'll be useful. Oh yes, we got health. We got health. That doesn't happen. Might need to use one of those, but hey. Let's go. Let's get back up there. <laughs> so yes, uh, Anton, the Two-handing ammo, no, two-handing mags and all that. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be. That's the whole reason I'm currently doing limited ammo to get warmed back up into limited ammo mindset, and that'd be better for conserving ammo with things that have mags. Yeah, we don't have mags, but hey, eventually we'll go. We'll go with one of the more modern things when that comes out to have some proper fun. Run, 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 run. I was thinking about a different path, but nope, that's too much effort. So yeah, uh, what was the other thing I was going to talk about? Ah oh, yes, why am I? Why is this come out on Wednesday? 
I'm changing my schedule. Just doing stuff with friends. Oh, keep going. With friends and my partner. I've just decided that since we do things on, basically the setup is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then maybe roll over into Saturday and Sunday, that H3 will be better doing on a Wednesday, so I can be closer to the release of a, an update. And I don't miss it. I could, I could in theory push it to Sundays, because don't, I don't normally stay over Sunday, but then again, I've got two things, like last week, the weekend that just went, I did something on a Sunday, and partner, and this weekend I'm also, so you know, I don't think moving it to Sunday will be a good idea. I'll make that a day for uh, non-update H3 videos or other series like um, Atex Cybernetics, which I just started, but hey, we'll deal with that as it goes. But yeah, that was the important thing. I don't want to be up here. I don't have a long-range gun. I want down in the... Down in the guts with the enemies. Which is probably going to get me killed. Because that's a path. That's a path. And I think there's a path over there. And there's a path there. the rock. Great. Right, three shots left. Got plenty of health. Gonna be careful. Then maybe I'll talk about uh, something else. I've got a few ideas. Some anarchist stuff I want to talk about. I'm not shooting up there. How about no? Actually, no. We'll use this be on the other side of this. There it is. I think those are seven shooters in the gun. Let me have a quick look. How many shots did? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's a seven shooter. We have three shots left in this. I've still got a decent chunk of health. We shouldn't need it. We've got to do one more hold. I've still got that. I've got this. We should be golden. I'm going to stack up on this wall. They're coming up this way. Coming around here. Oh. <laughs> that thing is pathetic. Yeah, we'll keep that for now. Oh, look. I forgot it's, what it's called. What's it called? Derringer. A <laughs> little dinky Derringer. Where? Up there. Two. One. Zero. I don't know if I have anything to... No, I didn't. Oh, you can see the bullet there. Hmm. We'll go this way first. So, yes, what was going to talk about? Anarchism. Or more precisely, youth liberation... Well, education and youth liberation. Because I've been on a little binge about learning about it. As well as general other anarchist stuff. But, hey, youth liberation it'll be. And about... Just the current schooling system and how <sighs> it's just not fun for anyone involved, really. With it basically being really hierarchical and not being based around equality and working together. So, for anyone thinks, because they always get it, 
School abolition is not the same as edu anti-education. They are two different concepts and- Oh, there goes my phone. Shoot, I don't know how many bullets I've got left. I'll see if I can shoot another shot. That's me out. Okay. This is empty. I'll put you there like that. I've got that and I've got the shotgun. Okay. Good. Well, we got all of them. Just a few of them. So, yeah. Education does not just have to happen in school. It happens everywhere. But the way schools are set up is not very egalitarian. Not equal. Not based around equality. And is a very hierarchical. Power is structured top down. Oh, yes, Martini Henry. So, what, what I'm basically saying is... When you think about the school, as a student... What? What ability did you have to influence policy and stuff like that? How much could you choose how your education functioned? I'd say in primary school, secondary school. I'm talking British one here. College. Probably Jack. You didn't really have much choice. Like, you started getting... Like, primary, you had no choice. You had to do what the education system said. But... Secondary school, you eventually got the choice of some subjects. But a lot of them were... Forced. Like, you were m mandated to do English and maths. Uh, let's see. Fill you up. Fill, you're already full. What I wanted to fill was the, this. Thank you. Uh, you are, oh, what is it? Did that just, well, it fell through the floor, so we've lost one. Yay, uh, we'll get, oh, hello. I'm so glad Anton added that to, <laughs> they, they spawn back up here if they fall through the world. I was a bit worried it wouldn't. Um, I'll get back to my thought process in a second. I'm currently... Got an occupied brain, and it's useless. Multitasking? What's that strange concept? And we need a few of these. So yeah, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've cocked everything. Let's go. So yes, youth liberation and education. So yeah, and then you got you got a bit of choice, and then college you got to pick. Got even more choice, and in university you were able to like really got loads of choice with specialization. Darn it! This is gonna be fun. Why do I always end up in combat when I start talking about complicated stuff? Oi! Ah, that's going to be a problem. Because I'm holding left trigger on the front to stabilise the gun. That means the cocking mechanism gets activated. Which means long range shooting is going to be... I think I missed him. I didn't know if I'd hit him. It's going to be difficult. Did I not hit him? I don't know if I'm aiming too high with this. Right, let's go. We'll just 
brute force it. Nope. No. Oh, I didn't pick up any of the um, climbing tools, did I? Oops. We'll go around this way. So, anywho, yes. But even still, even if you had full choice in what you learnt, on what subjects you pick, you still don't have much choice in how you learn, when you learn, where you learn, and what you learn. Like, how much influence did you have a child as like, asking questions on topics? And also how, not just hierarchical, but authoritarian it is with teachers dictating how things work, how behaviour is. How society in general dictates the children. Like, do not do that. And then giving random punishments not associated with the thing. For example, like, let's say you tell a child, don't mess with that cup. And then they, they mess with it, knock it over, spill water all over some work you're doing. That's annoying. That's going to cause you problems. And <gasps> Woo! Alas, poor meat. You're dead. And other things. But you didn't say why not to. You didn't think maybe you should expect them to. But remember it depends on the rage and all that. But, of course, you can use your common sense and also age is the pure di 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 dictator on a child's um common sense. I'm putting that in quotation marks because common sense is a fluffy topic in of itself. Oh. Well, I think I saw. I saw meat juice. But yeah, anywho. And then you send them to the bedroom for messing around. That's not a proportional response a logical punishment is it what would be a logical punishment would be to go right you've got to clean it up go get the towel paper towels whatever and dry all this up and you help them of course depending on age and all that and try and save your work and all and in the future explain to them beforehand right don't mess with the cup of water Whilst I'm working, be careful around it, because this is my work and it's important. If you damage it, it causes me a lot of trouble, okay? That kind of stuff. And other things like that. And not giving them choices, saying, or giving them false choice, like, do you want to go to the park today? And then they go, no, well, we're going to the park anyway. That's bad. Because you gave them false choice. What you were trying to do is make them feel independent and they have a choice, but you were lying. And that's even worse. You were lying to them. And, well, we spend all day say it, telling kids not to lie. Even though, oh god. Nuance. Never nuance in education. But, anywho, yeah. And, so, and this applies to teaching as well as parenting. And the. And all the other things where you look after a child, work with children, young people, hell, anyone. Shouldn't this be the same thing that applies to real life? Have you ever wondered at your job, why are the rules like that? There might be a good reason, there might not be, but you've never been a justification, and you only see it from your side, and you're like, well, it's just causing me hassle. So you cheat on those rules. Of course you do. Why not? Just causes you more hassle? No one's really checking. Until the problem happens. And I'm like, well, why didn't you do that? It seemed pointless. You never told me why I should. Other than listening, well, it's your job. That's a terrible reason. Why it's your job? Because we said so, isn't it? Yeah? <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. With all that, I think that's pretty much summed it up. Ooh. Shoot, I'll have to go back to the other place and get some more ammo. 
Dome then. Elf. Oh, I'm full. Got one more here, and this will be the last hole after this. So let's fully kit ourselves out. Too bad we haven't got a regular Winchester repeater. Lever action of some sort, but hey. Oh well. So yeah. And all that. There's there's a load of other minutiae and stuff like that. Like and how but then how should education work? How should it Well first off, small groups would probably help in general. I'm trying to manage so many people. It's just <laughs> impossible. But also making sure there's breadth in it as well. Breadth in students as well as... Oh. Damn, that was a good one. Oh, God. Oh, right, there's the gun scrapper. Okay. You two can go. I have no need for you. Override token found. Override token found. I'm going to specialize into a bunch of guns. There's my lever action. And there's a nice muzzle device there, but hey. Ooh, what did we get? We got the 1840. <laughs> Let my brain just mess up this saying that. Ooh, that has a lot in it. Problem with level action, as I said before. Ooh, I didn't know you could hold left on the D-pad. Because of that. Maybe Anton should... Oi. Hmm. Oh. Oh, well. Wait. The tr ah, I remember now. That's how it works. The trigger allows you to force a cock... So, like, now I can't, but if I pull trigger, I'm not holding the front trigger, I can cock it. I think he should remove the front trigger from giving the ability to do that, and just make it uh, left on the trackpad, to cock like that. And that would mean that his hold on the front would work properly. I think that would be better, we got one in the chamber, at least one in, and one in back up. So yeah, youth population and all that, and as you can see the concepts apply. Oh outside of it as well. I gave examples to you because it's general principle across the entirety of anarchism. But we shouldn't see, because it's a hierarchy, there is authority and power over others, which is wrong. I'm not saying that you, you're not going to have a... The concept of a teacher would have to change the way it works. Instead of having a straight-up teacher, you'll have multiple different people specialist roll around from the different subjects with the children and then have someone who's attached to a group a class who is the mediator who makes sure things are kept organized and orderly and fair everyone gets a chance to speak it doesn't get too loud and chaotic everyone's got a chance and also give the students more Give the students a chance to overrule the teacher through consensus. If they all agree that the teacher's being <laughs> mean, abusing their position of power. Am I hitting? I think I'm hitting the wall. I've got one in there. <sighs> oh, I didn't put you. No, you won't go up there. Don't go there, you'll go there. Why am I going over here? I have no idea. Oh, you're out as well. Shoot. I'm gonna die. Get in. I think I'm hitting the wall. They shooting each other. I hope I've got more bullets. Whoa. Oh, I never got more shotgun shells. Oh, 
with this thing going well. Right. Cock you your second one. Oh, this is not going good. I've got you open ready for your round. Other one doesn't matter. I don't... Hmm. Is there anything from here that we got? That power up. Shield. I'll take that. So, yeah. Where they can overrule and then get other people in. Because the children still deserve... And controlling life. I'm trying to think of the words. Oh, what is it? Like, like control, influence, the ability to decide how their life will go. Wait, like, I'm not saying children are not infallible, nor are adults. Let's just say that. Children are gem. And also, children sometimes have some of the most wonderful insights into the world. They're not. Don't they? Sometimes they have terrible insights, just like adults. And we need a more cooperation between, like, thinking about how, yeah, like, we interact, giving them more control influence. Yes, and always explain to them why, why you said something, why things work the way they are. Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting that to run out of ammo there. Uh, ammo is over there. Right. Let's keep going. So, yeah. They have influence in life. The control. An explosion. Allow everyone to justify why they want things. And then come together and discuss. Talk. And come to a consensus. Work together. And allow people to show. To give their grievance. Hell, this is general. Just anarchism. Which there, of course, it is, because it's the same principle applied to everything. To work, to life, to play. Think about it in your time where you have fun with your friends. Like, generally, not one person dictates how everything works, do they? Some people have might have more influence in certain situations. Maybe they're the owner of the stuff. Maybe they're the expert on that game that you're playing. Maybe... You're using the house. Or maybe they're just like the figurehead. The person that everyone rallies behind. Usually the, the head of reason and common sense. The mediator. But let's say they start being a dick and abusing this power. You stand up as a group, you say, Whoa, that's not right. gonna be tough. I think I'm out of bullets in this. Oh no. Now I'm out of bullets. Yep. Okay. Two shots. Let's make this count. He's not dead. Oh. Okay. We made it back to the ammo. Let's uh, not run out of ammo again, shall we? Do I want shotgun ammo? Or do I just keep it like that? I think I'll keep it like that. No, I'll keep a stack. No, I'll just keep it like that. Six. I'm just thinking through this. But yeah. Youth Liberation. Give it give it a thought. Give it have a look. I've been I've also been on a big binge of permaculture. About a more environmental through solar punk. Which, if you didn't know, is simultaneously a artistic aesthetic and a political movement because, well, I don't know. Art and politics have always been intermingled. I guess would be the best way to put it, haven't they? You hold a lot of rounds. And not a lot there. I 
I think I'm just going to fill up on lever action rounds. I'm not a fan of its sight, but hey. Let's go with it. I'm probably not the best person to explain anarchism. I'd need a talking sheet in front of me. Because I always get the terminology mixed up. When I was doing it with friend, I had to keep searching stuff up when I was explaining things to him. Going, I keep getting the terminology wrong. But yeah. It just basically, the, the, the founding principle is creating a system based around equality instead of hierarchy. A bottom-up instead of a top-down system. Where people at the bottom can influence the way things work. Instead of people at the top dictating how things work. Through consensus, coming to agreements. And working together, basically. You'll always need... The, for example... You will always need someone in a teaching setting that's going to be like the mediator, the person who sorts out disagreements, problems, who acts as the voice of reason and makes everything all great. Like, for example, when I'm at my union meetings, we have a chair who keeps everything orderly. We don't really need him for keeping things orderly because it's such a small group for the online stuff. And yeah, but he or she, whoever does it, I should say, the person. I'm saying he because eh. Welcome to what the current situation is. We're going round here. We have to. Um, brain, get back to where we were. Yeah. Talking about that. But they keep the thing on track and make sure we cover all points. We're fine to go off topic. If someone had a problem, I'm sure they'd raise it and say, well, we're a bit off topic. We're going to, I've got to go to, well, for example, can we get back on topic? I'm sure everyone would be fine with that and stuff like that. Or, hell, even if it's, even in cooperatives, there is a minor hierarchy. Because you can't have a meeting over everything, but you don't. For example, you could have someone who generally deals with I don't know. Dealing with um, ordering supplies. Yeah? But let's say they're making mistakes, things are going wrong. You could then bring it up and then as a group go with a consensus go, Hey, you're not really doing good. If you're not going to fix it and pay attention, you're not going to be able to do that job and someone else's because it's important for everyone, everyone's sake that you're... Ah, uh, focused and getting it done. Puh, I shoot yourself. Oi. Well, I lost a round there, but hey. Do I need any more? Oh well. Let's hold. Let's make a good hold. Let's not mess this up. But yeah. So you'd have some sort of hierarchy, but everyone who has power or authority in a situation, they wouldn't have absolute authority across all situations. They have authority within little situations. Little situations. And you can always, as a group, go, whoa, the way you're doing things is wrong. Oh, I'm just going to stop going for him. We're just going to be a bit cheesy because I'm focusing on what I'm doing. So yeah, just me talking about that. I don't think there's much more to talk about. I'm just going to focus on finishing this hold and getting this victory. Because, yeah, I advise you go read up on stuff. Great YouTube channel to watch for YouTube relation and, um, 
solar punk environmentalism based on anarchism is Saint Andrewism. Uh, he's a person, just a wonderful person, makes wonderful content. Oh, wait. Shoot, I should have healed. Oh, he makes wonderful content related to anarchism and youth liberation and a few other, and environmentalism. I could have been in for the top. I could have been, I, I think I would have hit top five there. I didn't realize how low I had two health. I had a shield, I should have. That's because I'm talking. I had other stuff and yabbering. I should have taken a moment to recenter and focus on the game. But hey, who cares? I had fun. We got far. It's a hard mode anyway. Big open map. The current thing is a bit buggy. Not buggy. A bit um, edge casey. So yeah. Or he could have. Do you know what? When I was talking about the lever action, if you've got a lever action in gun. And you have that mode nailed. Disable that functionality. It's a possibility. I don't know. Hmm. Anywho. Enough about me having on. Work, helicopters, ambulances, and then a good chunk of youth population environment. <laughs> Anarchism! And no, this video was not... An <laughs> was not anarchic in... Or, organisation. Remember... Don't mix anarchism and chaos. They are not synonyms. Anarchism is a complicated, simple yet complicated political philosophy. Chaos and disorder are adjectives that describe a situation. Adjectives? Yes, they're adjectives. Adverb describes a doing word. Adjectives describe a noun. I'm a teacher. I do TA. I teach English. Anywho, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did so, hit that like button. Got any comments, questions? Drop them down in the comment section below. I'll answer if possible. New to the channel? Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter and support me on Patreon. Links to those are down in the description. Stay well and Survivor out. Cheerio. I thought I could find the hammer. I thought it was... Maybe that gun doesn't work. Who knows?